everybody, Laura here for Waffle Flower Crafts, and I am so glad that you are joining me today because I've got a fun, a bright, a colorful project to share with you featuring the Enveloper, let's see if I say that right, Enveloper Hello stamp set. This is by Waffle Flower Crafts, and what I'm doing here is inking it. I've already got the uh, cute little girl image and the hello word bubble. I've got to mount it on my mini Misty, stamping it onto a piece of Tim Holtz watercolor cardstock using Versifying Onyx Black ink. And now there's some very solid, like larger solid areas with the girl's hair. So therefore I had to stamp it a few times. That's why I love the Misty because you can keep on stamping it. Now, I knew I was going to do some ink blending or watercolor or something for this background and I just wanted to be safe so I'm going to go ahead and emboss right over top of this so I'm inking it up this time with Versamark ink and I'm going to sprinkle on a little clear embossing powder. Now I'm not sure if you really have to do this but when I was practicing uh, and I decided to try some ink blending the black ink started smearing and I was getting real irritated So I said to heck with it I'm just going to do some clear embossing right over top of it And that way I can be ensured that I don't get any black ink smearing into my uh, background So now what I'm doing here is creating some quick and simple masks I'm using this full sticky post-it note and I just pulled out a light ink. This is um cracked pistachio it doesn't matter just I wanted something really light and I'm making a mask for the girl's head and as well that hello word bubble so uh, I love this full sticky post-it I use them all the time they're great for quick and easy masks now look at these cutie patootie little Tim Holtz mini snips just got them in the mail I'm in love with them so fun so once I get my masks all trimmed out. I'm not taking uh, much time to be super precise, uh, just enough to cover up any of the white areas within the, um, you know, it doesn't matter if her hair is completely, because it's black all around the edges. That's not really going to show any of the uh, background color. I just want to make sure that I cover up her skin and all that jazz. Okie dokie. So now we're moving on to the background. I've got my little mini distress inks. I'm using picked raspberry spice marmalade and mustard seed and i started with the picked raspberry and then i blended in to the orange and then into the yellow going for a very cheerful happy warm vibe because today the snow it came a fallen down like a lot of it and uh, i was not expecting that i was i thought it was starting like we're gonna have spring but uh, no we had winter and i kid you not while i was working on this card honest Honest to goodness, true story. I'm ink blending. I look out the window and the most gorgeous fox started prancing right in front of my window. And I stopped and looked at it. And it was the craziest thing. It started hopping around, acting like a squirrel, digging into the ground. I think it was looking for food. And I'm not a fox whisperer or anything, but I sometimes I feel like I have a connection to animals and um, I'm crazy. But so I quickly ran to my laptop and I Googled, what do foxes eat? And I thought I'll throw some food out for it because I'm crazy like that. And but foxes eat other animals. So that wasn't going to help me much. But I did see that they like to eat nuts and seeds. And I thought oh, I'll grab a handful of nuts and seeds. I'll throw it out. And this fox was looking at me literally. I kid you not the the fox was smirking at me. He had this slight he or she. I'm not sure if it was a girl or boy, but it was smirking at me. And uh, I did get a really good picture of it, but I didn't end up throwing any food out at, at that. I'm, I'm not sure if you should do that anyway, but anyhow. So I added some pattern paper and a, and a solid black strip along the bottom. I popped up my panel. Now I'm taking an RV29 and just filling in any little mistakes or gaps. And then a few little sequins. These are by Lucy. And this card is finished. I hope you enjoyed the video and the fox story. Uh, for more information or details, check out the Waffle Flower blog, their Facebook, their Instagram. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.